welcome to Ooh Girl That's Nice. It is me, Sierra. If this is your first time here, welcome. So glad you decided to click on this video because as you can see from the title, this is going to be a mini vlog. And if this ain't your first time here, girl, hey, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So this is going to be a mini haul. If you like these types of videos, stay tuned for the rest. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it. This is a mini haul. It's only about five or six pieces, starting with the shirt that I have on. So I'm going to probably show what I ended up getting on this side or this side of me. And then it's going to be a clip of me trying the piece on. So y'all see me sitting down in it. Y'all see me standing up in it with probably like some pants or something on with it. Um, but this um, top is um, was $7 and she is a size medium. She is going to be a bodysuit. I absolutely love, 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 love this top because she has these gorgeous purples and mauves and browns definitely fitting for the fall. I wanted me a nice sheer top that I can look sexy but still classy in. I love to, you know, kind of be on the edge of sexy and classy. So this is definitely my speed. She is sheer. So if you are not one who wears sheer items, make sure that you put like a cami or something underneath or um, a bra. So I have a bra on underneath this. Probably going to end up getting a, a brown bra to kind of fall into like the color scheme of this top or a nude color bra. But if you are one who likes to wear stickies or um, decides to just wing it and not wear a bra, that's on you girl. But for me, I'm a part of the double D committee and I have to wear a bra of some sort so definitely a comfortable um, top I got her in a size medium and y'all will be able to see how she looks on me uh, when I'm standing up in her price when I bought it was seven dollars but y'all know that she can kind of go up and down on their prices but make sure that you apply your coupons at checkout all right y'all so the next piece is going to be a pair of shoes if you never ordered shoes from Shein I definitely 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 recommend ordering shoes from Shein. I've ordered probably like five pairs, five or six pairs, um, and I haven't had any issues out of the shoes. So I wanted a nice pair of cream boots. I've been looking for some cream boots. Been having some troubles finding some cream boots in my size because typically a size seven or a six and a half in women's always sells out really fast. So I ended up getting my boots. So the box, of course, is raggedy because y'all know how Shein get down. Shein is not the best on packaging. You have to admit that a lot of times that the packaging might not smell too good. It might have a uh, smell that smells like, um, what's the smell of like um, hair glue? Like the hair glue, the, the, um, the black hair glue with like the orange lid that has like that fishy smell. Sometimes Shein can have that type of smell or like a smell that just don't smell too pleasant so the box of course was somewhat raggedy and smashed but that's beside the point we're worried about the product on the inside so i got these gorgeous cream boots they are not going to be a over the knee boot they're just going to be like a mid-leg boot and they have a block heel so i'm not the girl who wears stiletto heels i'm not a stiletto heel wear i love combat boots i love um block heels i like clogs i like anything that is for comfort cuteness and can still be considered sexy so i got these boots and again y'all should be able to see you know what they look like on the website versus uh, what you see here and what you see me trying on so i do plan on wearing these with um, an outfit that I got or a dress that I got from Shein that y'all will see later on in the video but this is just up close detailing some lining towards the center of the boot some lining on the back of the boot and then a nude bottom um, heel a nude, a nude bottom and a nude heel so I really do like the um the boots 
just without trying them on i could say that the material it's not that bad not going to be that much stretch so if you're a girl who has big legs you're not you're not going to be able to stretch these boots too much but they're very cute and i got them in a size seven and y'all will see how they look try on size seven on Shein is going to be around a size 38 a uh, size seven and a half is going to be around a size 39 sometimes they don't have um like sizes that aren't half sizes sometimes they have whole sizes sometimes they have high, half sizes in shoes so i think that i ended up getting these in a size six. all right y'all so the next piece is going to be a basic piece so i do hang my Shein items up after i get them <laughs> delivered to me because i just can't stand for stuff to just be packed inside of the box or remain in that Shein uh, wrap. So this is going to be a Brooklyn sweatshirt giving very much baseball fan. Um, she kind of has some lint on her, but thank God I got a lint brush, but she does have some lint on her. She goes perfect with my um, Jordans. I think I have some 11s that I can wear with, the, with this. And she was I think she was about $15. Again, the price point will be at the side. I like anything that has a V-neck because I don't really like being like boxed in when it comes to my sweatshirts. I say, um, I say for this one, yeah, this this sweatshirt is a size medium. And y'all will see how I look in this. I was going to say that I feel like this might be a little snug on me just simply because I'm top heavy. So maybe I should have ended up ordering a large for the look that I wanted. I like sometimes to have like oversized sweatshirts to wear with leggings and sneakers. So I don't believe that this is going to be oversized enough for me. She just may be like a fitted type of sweatshirt. So next time I'll probably end up sizing up, but we'll see how it ends up looking on. Um, I say I like the texture of the sweatshirt, but the inside of the sweatshirt is not like of the quality of like a H&M sweatshirt or Air Postel sweatshirt. So, um, I've had a few sweatshirts that I've gotten from Chin and this one, she's somewhat decent, but we'll see how she ends up looking on. And again, I got her in a size medium. So this next piece is going to be like a terry cloth material outfit. Um, as you can see, she's this gorgeous hot pink. So as I'm feeling her and getting a look at her, and I'll pull her, put her closer to y'all. So I don't know if y'all remember, but like in the 2000s, it used to be like a, it was like a terry cloth trend specifically with like the summertime and springtime clothes. Girls wore like their terry cloth sets and they it might be like a two-piece or whatever so this has that texture to it it has that feel to it i never was able to get into like a terry cloth because my sister she had like terry cloth clothes she was a little bit older than me and so she got a chance to get in on that little terry cloth trend but i didn't really get terry cloth clothes like that but i digress so this is going to be the first part of this um set she is going to be like a spaghetti strap uh, bodycon dress, kind of like a mini. And then you have this long, I ain't going to say too long, but she's longer than the dress, overcoat or jacket or cardigan. Very, very, very warm and cozy. Very warm and cozy. I just want to cuddle up. And wear this by itself not even wear the dress but I love the material of it I love the color of it it definitely looks like what I um, saw in the picture um, it you know it's kind of giving it's kind of living up beyond the expectations that I have for it because sometimes she can have like a certain the the items can appear like a certain material when you see it online, but then when you get in person, you be like, what did I get? So, I am feeling this. I feel like I will be nice and warm on a date. I can wear this with like some cute midi boots or some um, over-the-knee boots or like a winter heel 
or a fall heel and be good to go so let's see how this looks on but i'm definitely feeling this i think that this was around like 25 dollars 26 dollars i'm not sure but i'll y'all should be able to see the price on the screen but i think if it looks nice on depending on how it looks when i try it on that this is definitely a move it's going to be a dress that i almost forgot to show y'all so she is like a mod style long sleeve dress she's going to be a button up dress and she was a part of the she in sexy um side so i was looking for a dress that i can kind of wear on my um anniversary if y'all watch my vlogs if you don't watch my vlogs make sure you watch my vlogs my boyfriend and i go on a lot of different dates and stuff around our city and just different places so i went to find something cute but like mod style to wear on one of our dates for anniversary which is coming up november so might be by the time i post this video it might be in november but um yeah so i found this and i'm hoping that she fits the way that i think that she's going to fit because i want to wear her with those boots that i showed y'all and i ended up getting her in a size we look to be too oversized but she's definitely a little bit more oversized than the last sweatshirt that i showed y'all and when I got this, I kind of got like a hockey team fan vibe. Um, I love the fact that it has this turtleneck style detail at the top. I might have should have gotten this in a medium, but we shall see. But I love, 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 love this sweatshirt and how it feels in comparison to the other sweatshirt. Maybe because it looks a little looser and maybe also because of the color of it. I'm really not big on buying like black sweatshirts and things like that, but I like this. Um, I just don't know what type of shoes I will be wearing with this. I probably have to get some shoes to go with this. So we'll see how this ends up looking on, but it's very cute. It's definitely cute. I have to wear some uh, ponytail or something when I wear this um, sweatshirt, but I like her. All right, y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this, what I ordered versus what I got. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what I ended up getting. I think that the one that I kind of least liked was the um, sweatshirt, the black and yellow sweatshirt. And again, it might be because of the, the um, color scheme of it. Um, but I'll definitely find something to wear with it, but I don't think that I like the the fitting of that sweatshirt in comparison to the gray sweatshirt that I got. Y'all let me know what y'all's favorite piece ended up being. I'll definitely come back to you with more what I uh, ordered versus what I got.